Hi there, Maddie. I got your uh, the email that your dad sent over and the uh, video you made. Uh, thanks for sending that over, and uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. But I guess, and go, I guess I'll go ahead and give you some feedback right now, uh, since you took the time to make that. Um, so great, good work on um, on keeping your index finger nice and relaxed on the, uh, I think you had it on the G string. Let's put that, let's put that on the B string for right now. You'll see why uh, probably, hopefully tomorrow or maybe the next next lesson. Um, but we're gonna put that index finger right there on the second string. Like I said, great job on making sure you didn't like do anything. You kept it very still here. You didn't do anything like where you pushed in, so you kept it right where it should have been. Um, as far as the thumb strokes looking, um, it's looking good. It's it's not, not too shabby for just a couple, I think it's one week actually, of working on it. Um, what I want you to watch out for is making sure that we're moving only from the big knuckle back here. So when I do say on the fifth string, for example, that we keep our arm absolutely still. And I could actually see, I could actually stand to have your guitar, maybe it's like a little bit higher. You were kind of, if I were to kind of have my right foot where yours was, you're like down here, kind of like this a little bit. I'd like to bring that up a little bit and be kind of more like dead center in the chest right here, right? So like that, not too low. And I think that'll help get your arm out of that waist area and get your arm down here a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, this anchor here was really nice. Um, and so when I do that thumb stroke through the fifth string, I mean right here from the big knuckle. So not this kind of motion, I'm exaggerating, you didn't really do that. Um, you know, I saw me a little bit like this, but it wasn't very much. Um, so it's on the side of the thumb, if I press in, right about there, Let's see if you can see that line, that's kind of where my thumb meets the string. So thumb here, pass through, right? Three, keeping that arm completely still. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm opening up my thumb, my hand right here. This, I'm not leaning up this way. Open the thumb up. Like that. And answering your other, oh, then to, to go into your question, uh, what you're actually talking about is actually a pretty advanced technique of being able to, to move this as a one unit through the strings. I, for right now, would keep it just on the second string and work your way through the bass strings and then come back up again. So, but like what, you are, what you're talking about, that actually is a thing. Um, we just haven't gotten there yet. As far as your left hand thumb, um, it's, it's, there's different kinds of spots. So say, for example, if I play like something like a, like that, it was a wide stretch, right? I'll, I'll need to drop my thumb a bit more on the back of the neck. But if I am playing something like your, oh gosh. Um, right, playing something like that, um, my thumb is gonna be tipping on the back here on the mid part of the neck. Um, you notice how like if I stretch out like here, my wrist is a bit straighter then if I'm out here like this, where I have to kind of bend my wrist a bit more because I'm further away from the, my body and I'm on the lower strings right here. So the, the thumb placement changes kind of depending on what you're doing. Um, but everything was looking good from the thing you did last time, so I wouldn't think about it. Don't worry about it too much. I hope that helps, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.